Welcome to our Curriculum Cafe videos. During this video, we will be taking a look at the priority standards created by Achieve the Core to help us focus math instruction in the classroom. There is a document created by the Council of Great City Schools, an organization representing the needs of urban public schools called Addressing Unfinished Learning After COVID-19 School Closures. This document is linked in the description below. This document introduces six overarching principles for supporting students with unfinished learning. We know that if we are spending time addressing content from previous grade levels to remediate, we are only adding to the gaps that students may have. So principle number one, sticking to the grade level content is key. We can address some of the foundational gaps through fluency activities before each lesson to help students make connections between the content they have learned with the new learning they will be doing. Principles two and three go hand in hand. We have to focus on the depth of instructional content, not the pace, but because we have limited time, we also need to make sure we prioritize content so that we don't spend too much time on the content that is not as essential. These are the two principles that we will focus on for this video. Achieve the Core is a website by Student Achievement Partners, a nonprofit organization that designs tools and resources, professional learning, and other supports grounded in research and in the realities of the classroom. You may remember them from focused grade level standards like the one you see here on your screen that we have used here in OMSD in the past. They are also the creators of the coherence map that I have shared with many of you during professional developments. You can find the links to access both the coherence map and the focus standards documents in the descriptions below if you would like to revisit them. Last year, Student Achievement Partners wrote the 2020-2021 Priority Instructional Content in ELA Literacy and Mathematics. They have now added an update for this 2021-2022 school year that essentially states that the recommendations that they had for last year may still hold true for this year. This document was designed to support decisions about how to elevate some of the most important mathematics at each grade level, while reducing time and intensity for topics that are less integral to the overall coherence of college and career ready standards. In this document, you will find considerations for what they have labeled as priority standards for each grade level. They use words like emphasize and incorporate to let us know which standards should be given more emphasis. They also note which standards should have no special considerations, but advise that time spent on these standards should not be reduced. They also address all of the remaining standards not considered priority standards. They use words like reduce, integrate, combine, or eliminate to let us know how to lessen the focus on these. You may find that some of your grade level standards normally considered as part of the major work clusters may be listed here. Achieve the Core recommends that these standards receive lighter treatment in favor of other priority content standards. Let's go through and take one of these standards as an example. Let's use this first grade standard, Measurement and Data B. Now this specific standard lets me know that B is actually standard three in the parentheses at the end, but not all of the standards do that. Let me show you how to identify the standards in case they're not listed. If you're looking at your content standards under each strand in this, in this case, measurement and data, you will find bold statements above a single or group of standards. Those bolded statements are what we consider A, B, or C. So in this case, if I'm looking for B, then standards in 1.MD3 would be part of B. Standards 1 and 2 would be considered part of 1MDA. So now that I know what standards fall under each cluster, in this case B, I can now look at my Eureka modules to find the lessons that include this standard. For this example, 1MD3 is found in module 5, topic D. Since the priority content stated to eliminate lessons devoted to telling and writing time to the hour and half hour, then I know that I can either skip lessons 10 through 13 or reduce the number of days I spend on it it's going to depend on how much time I'm needing to save for other content. I could also replace some fluency activities within the next few lessons and teach these concepts in short 10 to 15 minute increments each day before I teach any other lesson that I need to focus on or spend more time on. 
So let's get into this document. I'm going to show you the easiest way to find this document so that you can use it while you're planning your own instruction. I'm going to start by going into our OMSD Symbolu page. From our Symbolu page, I'm going to click into our curriculum and instruction website. Once here, you're going to want to click into our Eureka Math tab. Once you're at the Eureka Alignment Resources website, you will first find our um, resources for math. You'll find our planning guides and then some recommended websites that I have. Right underneath those three, you will find some folders. That first link right there is the 2020-2021 priority standards. You'll just have to click on that folder and it'll take you straight into that website. Once you're here, you have the option to either view a PDF version or a Word version of the priority instructional content. You can either view the file or you can download it. Once you have it open, you'll scroll down to the third page and you'll notice that there's an introduction, there's a section for math, and then there's a section for ELA. Since I'm focusing on math, I'm going to focus up here. There's an introduction for math instruction and then there's grade level considerations. If you click into that, it'll take you straight to where Kinder starts. There's a few pages for each grade level. They start with where to focus for each grade level and then immediately go into considerations for priority content standards and then the rest of the remaining content standards. They also have some um, suggestions for social, emotional, and academic vocabulary um, and development if that's something that you're needing. And then if you just scroll down, then you'll find first grade and so forth. Like I said, each of these um, different grade level standards give you ideas on what standards to emphasize, what standards you may want to incorporate, um, which standards you may want to prioritize. Um, they also give you some ideas. So for example, this second grade standard lets you know that you want to make sure that you ensure word problems um, that represent all grade two problem types. And so if you need that kind of assistance, then they say you can refer to this other standard for guidance. So you want to make sure that you go through and check these out. All right, like always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at rosa.gutierrez at omsd.net. And thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.